this YouTube video. This is day 11 of prep. I'm on a high carb day, which I'm really happy about because I'm gonna need it today. I'm rocking with 320 grams of egg whites, two whole eggs, 80 grams of oats, 110 grams of blueberries. And then for my second meal, I usually would have um, peanut butter and honey, like 20 grams of each. But I'm gonna combine that with my first meal today along with two pieces of toast that I get on my high carb day. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm only getting one meal in before I go and train and it's going to be a brutal session today. I'll get more into why the session's going to be brutal. We're literally about to head to the gym in an hour and a half, but first I'm going to smack this. Let's go. All right, before we get into exactly why this particular workout is going to be a little brutal, I got to highlight Young LA because they finally did it. They finally did it. After two plus years of being with Young LA, they, they're dropping short shorts. Not shorts that you have to roll up twice to appear short, they're just actually short, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they kind of stole the vibe off of Kill Crew on these, but I don't give a fuck, they're sick. So, these are dropping May 30th. If you want to get them, go quick, because I guarantee you these ones are going to sell out fast. I'm just really happy, you know, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey waiting for Young LA to drop short shorts and it finally happened. I am not a morning workout kind of a guy. I love doing cardio in the morning, it's great, but like, as for actually moving weight, bro, I, I appreciate like a good afternoon workout. One o'clock, two o'clock has been like the sweet spot so far in this prep. Cause then I could do my cardio, I could eat my two meals, and then I can go to the gym and I have enough time to get it all in. Now I had to wake up, eat a fat ass meal, now I gotta come pay the bill a little bit early today, but it is what it is. Today's workout's gonna be a gnarly one because I'm linking up with Jared Feathers. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you guys, you guys have seen Jared before. He's from the Renaissance Periodization Dudes. Super scientific based exercise, workout kind of vibes. Uh, very big on full range of motion. Uh, throughout every single movement and every single time I work out with these guys they fucking they kill me bro It's it's tough and I'm assuming today is not gonna be any different um, But it's cool. I'm gonna just let Jared do whatever he wants for back Obviously, I'm just gonna hop in because I'm still gonna be getting the work in regardless And it'll be a cool little change of pace for my normal back day So I'm looking forward to it, but it's gonna be a gnarly one. So wish me luck. I'm about to smack my pre-workout Put on my fucking big boy P way pants and go pay the bill. Oh. Jack, are you into fitness? Yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitting this dick in your mouth. <laughs> a little scared, man. Why? Because I never work out this early. Oh, oh no, you have one meal in me. You know, yeah. I'm already making excuses and shit. You already got the. No, I'm just kidding. I feel good. It's a high carb day. Oh, shit. It's just pull, right? Yeah. Back to you. Just pull. <laughs> no, work, no workouts easy with Jared, bro. That's, I figured that out a while ago. Are you, uh. All right, so I was unaware that the legend Jared here is literally a week out. So he's a little tired, but I know he's still gonna put me through a, a grueling session and I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Have a good time. <laughs> he shows up and he's like, I'm a week out. I was like, oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> he was okay. telling me I'm not gonna be as excited for cardio here and like towards the tail end of the prep, which yeah. I'm assuming it's he knows. It's good to see the enthusiasm though. Yeah. I remember when I started prep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could feed some. I can, I'm trying to give him some motivation. You know what I'm saying? It's working, man. We're gonna have a good session, I think. We're just warming up a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna let Jared lead the workout, dude. I've never seen him like this before. Like he's a wee guy. He's tired, which I. <laughs> I almost. He didn't. He didn't tell me before we came here that he was a week out. You know. I don't know if I'm gonna be. 
training with anyone when I'm a week out. I guess we'll see. This ain't his first rodeo though. More of a stretcher? Oh yeah. Good. I'm gonna chop there, hang out for a full second. Okay. Almost to here, almost push your chest up and out. Like six <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just right. What do you think? Felt good. 15 to 20 range. What do you think? 15 to 20, maybe a little bit heavier than that for me yeah. right now. Yeah. 10s on each side or something? Mm -hmm. So I remember back when I used to train with Jared a little bit too, he always has us do like a quick little set with the weight that we're going to be hitting for the actual sets. Just to get like warmed up with it, make sure you can, you, like it's a good weight. You're not going higher or lower, you know? We feel good. We're doing like it says 10 to 15 right here. Then we'll get into it, man. That's a big man. There you go, Jared. You teach someone everything you know, and then they go off somewhere else and they get back into those bad habits. But as you see, Jack is controlling the absolute fuck out of this and actually training his muscles and not just moving weight. Come on, Jack. Get three more. Good stretch here. Good stretch, good stretch, good stretch, good stretch. Forceful. Yep, another one. Control. Like you're gonna do another? Woo. This is why I don't work out with Jared all the time. It's a little too tough. <laughs> I, I, I had to switch gyms to hide from him. <laughs> well, now I know you are. <laughs> I'm not concerned with novelty too much and getting too sore. It's a very similar exercise. I'm just not using a bar anymore because I don't want to be bent over creating all that axial fatigue. Um, so whatever Jack wants to do next as far as like a, a row machine, let's get it. Do you like the chest supporter row right there? Okay. Yeah, that's like one of my favorites. I'm down for that. Sweet. I get a choose, man. 
I'm glad he's using straps. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to for a second. Overall, it's just off the bat. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, I'll just pull you forward. Watch you, pull forward, pull forward, pull forward. And you're allowing that, keeping that lordotic posture, you're allowing more flexion here and then up. And then this would be a bit row normal, just reflection. Oh, do the same thing over this pad, a lot of flexion in my rows. Flexion with the spine, the upper area. Back, good job. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Sir. Good. Stink. Yeah, right here. Yeah. yeah. Hear what you're saying. So you're saying like. I was pulling my lower back a little bit too much, or so some people when they do a flexion row, uh -huh. they'll also like let this happen. They'll be here, and they flex like this, and then like this. And, and you don't want that. Here. Tight lower back, lordotic in the lower back, flex the lower upper back. Okay. Yeah. It's the little things, boys. The little things will make, okay. make a big difference. Yes, 
So, you're saying don't let my chest round too much forward. So don't go like, pull your entire body. You were through. trying to stretch the, the exactly back, yeah. the upper back. So if your chest, the second it's on the rest on the pad, you're just getting that from here. You're not getting it from from this. Mm -hmm. Like rolling right. forward. Right. Right. Okay. It's it's easier to think about when you're not tired. You know, <laughs> you get deeper into it. There you go. Oh. Holy fuck, man. Preacher's my favorite, all time favorite bicep. I always say that, but when I first started working out, dude, that was like. <laughs> Let's just do a few sets of Preacher and get a lot out of it. Okay. We'll do a my rep pause in each of those. And we'll do two sets where we do an isolation. Single arm one? Sound? Yeah, that sounds good. So it feels like you have a little bit more variation. Okay, cool. Okay. Back, chest back. Yep, I don't know how much heavier I'll go on it. Yeah, I know. Most people, when they do this, they kind of force their chest over the pad and uh -huh. they, like, do this. And come back. It's way, way too much momentum. Getting a bunch of other muscles involved. Okay. So, by pushing your chest that way and your shoulders that way, we're hoping to aid in that stretch portion, which is the most important part of the foot. So, make sure whenever it's getting hard, you don't find yourself leaning forward. You don't cheat it? Yeah. Okay. Definitely do that when I get tired. Think about this. You want to be... So if you're gonna pick a box up, how would you pick it up? Would you like pick it up out here or would you like squat down and like really? Yeah. So when you're training the weights, you're trying to put yourself 
in that more disadvantageous position to train the muscle even better. Okay. So you're actually trying to be in a disadvantageous position here instead of a more advantageous position. Because when people think about force production, they think about like the actual force imparted on the object, just like in the most advantageous position possible. But that would just be a curl like this. So this is where I can put the most weight up. But the internal force that the muscle detects is better at disadvantageous positions at long muscle lengths. Okay. So just really getting it out here. It that makes a lot of sense. Growth. Unless you well, you're probably doing something incorrect. Just like just back. Full deep stretch. All the way down. Pull this back. Yeah, good. There it is. Keep going. I get a set. Full stretch. Almost hang out at the bottom for a full second. Just back. Shoulder back. Chest back. Shoulder back. Chest back. Up. Yes. Every rep. Just like that. Fuck that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep it up. Control. Up. Control. Up. Squeeze. Control. Chest back, shoulders back. Chest back, shoulders back. Up. Squeeze. Control. Chest back, shoulders back. Chest back, shoulders back. Make it hurt. Up. Down slow. We got two more four balls. <laughs> Squeeze. Control. Shoulders back. Make it hurt more. Make it hurt more. Up. Squeeze. Down slow. Hang off the bottom for a couple seconds. Relax. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. Three. Let's go. Three. Squeeze. Down slow. Shoulders back. Chest back. It should only hurt worse. It's just fucking pain. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Biceps. <laughs> Let's do one more. <laughs> oh yeah. You definitely want to creep forward. <laughs> the more tired I get. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I feel that real, real good, really deep. Satellite burn. I'm like shook, <laughs> I'm like shook right now. We should do the single arm. Come on now, come on Jack, what you want? Put it back, Got those biceps up, again. Yes. Breathe. Again. <laughs> Up, squeeze, 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 down slow. Like you're gonna do another one. Pull this back, full stretch, hang out, back. <laughs> Come on. Shoulder, shoulder. Yeah. Uh. Put it back. Squeeze. Not slow. Again. Yes. Come on, Jack. Again, full stretch, full stretch, full stretch. There it is. Up. Uh. 
Oh yeah. Hold it back, try something to the pad. Oh. One more, Jack. Into the pain. Let it hurt. Let it hurt. Let it hurt. Hold it back. Up. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Hang out. Hang out. Drop. Yes. That'll do it.